What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. I am going to be talking about the House Studios Gel 1130 uh, Part 2 and also doing sort of like a summary recap of the Part 1. Um, if you guys don't know, there is a uh, Part 1 of this, I guess, sort of. Um, it was a, uh, a pair of shoes that came out, I believe, mid last year. So I'll put a card somewhere here uh, for the Part 1, but today's the Part 2. Um, House Studios and ASICS did something sort of unique, um, at least in terms of like ASICS in general. Um, I know that New Balance has done it with the Amelion Dor uh, collaborations, but this is the first time for ASICS. Uh, they opened up a pre-order. So it was around six months ago when I put in the pre-order for these shoes. Um, and then they had like an estimated delivery time of like Q1 of this year. Uh, because of some delays, there were um, pushed back to like end of Q1, beginning of Q2. So they arrived a few days ago and then I immediately started wearing them, kind of get used to it. And I wanted to do a video to do a comparison because I know a lot of people didn't have a chance to pick up the part one, um, but this part two I think is just as good. So let me bring them up. First off, the difference is in the box. This comes in a very minimal House Studios A6, just cardboard box. While this one is a bit more branded, it's A6 House Studios, and it has the project name HS underscore AS underscore MK underscore two. So I'm assuming, well, I think this was the Mark One, Mark Two. This one says high and lows, and it doesn't really have that like product code like it does here. Um, the inspiration for the part one was Earth, and then the second one is Forest. So that's where the colorway ideation and stuff like that came from. So let's move the part one aside. So the part two, if you guys pre-ordered, it comes with a pair of House Studio socks. I already wore them, so here they are. They're like... Um, a really nice pair of knitted socks, I will say. Um, it's it's cool. It's nice to get a little bit of extra to get in it. Uh, take out the shoes. So like other than the shoes, like, so my box did come a little bit damaged, but it'd be like that sometimes. It comes with this sort of product uh, picture, I guess. It reads, to our valued house studios community, we are grateful for your patience and support and thank you for being on this journey with us through our advanced order platform. Thoughtfully designed to be a safe and fair space for our community to secure their purchase in a stress-free environment. The platform helps to minimize wastage, only producing the supply that was necessary, a solution that is better for our planet. The Gel 1130 first released in 2008 has preserved its true stick support system to provide underfoot stability while the iconic gel technology cushioning in the heel absorbs shock to offer easy wearing comfort we are confident that you will love the comfort and style of the gel 1130 mk2 forest inspired by the natural world the mk2 or i guess mark II, pays homage to the forests of japan and the shinto shrines found within them the combination of contrasting textures, tones, creates a retro super future form and shape that accentuates the archival running silhouette. The Gel 1130 MK2 Forest, the second installment of our ongoing conversation and collaboration partnership with ASICS and Help Studios. We will have more projects to follow and hope to see you on this journey. And it has basically the 1130 fully deconstructed So it has that, and then I think this pair came with one pair of extra laces. So came with a cream lace as well as a dark brown lace. Now, let's bring out the OGs. The OGs weren't available on the advanced order. Uh, it was a bit of a craze to pick them up. Um, luckily, I was able to get one pair. Uh, I had the opportunity to get two, but I just wanted people to be able to at least get their one, and it seemed like it was a bit frustrating for a lot of people. 
So here is the earth. It came with two rope style laces, uh, a few house stickers, but like other than that, pretty minimal, I will say. So two extra laces, one that is a cream rope and the other one that's like a very, very light blue. So I have worn the forest, or not the forest, the earth colorway quite a bit. Um, I do like the 1130, it's a very comfortable silhouette, comfortable shoe, and the cushioning is really nice. So for right now, I will be talking about the stuff that is specifically different about the forest pair compared to uh, the, the earth pair. Sorry about that. So the forest pair has this brown strip of leather. Um, the previous version was a suede all around, but that brown leather, you know, it's fairly decent. It's fairly nice, has um, a nice plush texture to it. Nothing too crazy and has some really nice thick suede pretty much all around with that natural leather here as well as over here. Dark colored suede, it's pretty much black and you even see that it's already sort of flaking off. Studios on one pair, Hal on the other. I really like this neon um, heel accent point. Really, really nice. Another cool addition is that the tips of both laces are dipped. So I thought that was something really cool compared to the original. The original did not have those dipped uh, lace tips. There's also a patch of leather as sort of like a lace holder. Gel 1130, all this sort of open nesh. It has a nesh liner. And the insole, I mentioned this for the previous one as well, but it has sort of like a faux leather insole. And you can see Asics and House Studio sort of embossed in matte here, or not really embossed, it's sort of like printed, but in a glossy texture. It's pretty incognito, I thought it was cool. And it has an ortholite uh, insole, which helps with comfort. The 1130 itself is a pretty comfortable shoe, I will say. Um, personally, I would say it's one of the more comfortable shoes. Let's just do a quick side by side comparison of the these are both a uh, size eight and a half yeah these are both a size eight and a half they have that little a6 logo right here now with the uh forest Again, like I said, that brown leather, I'm assuming might have to do with the Shinto shrines that they were talking about, um, where maybe this might be the arches or the building or the foundation. This is maybe supposed to be the wood and everything else is sort of the greenery, but both the meshes look pretty similar, quite similar. Um, in terms of QC, there are minor glue stains, but Nothing too, too outrageous. Studio Studios. Yeah, like I said, the, uh, the lace tips being dipped helps with sort of the durability of the lace tips. Cause I've definitely, if you've worn shoes enough um the lace tips start like breaking apart and that's the most annoying part and basically makes the lace unusable um but yeah everything else looks pretty good um yeah here's the earth pair one more time very nice pair oh and the insole of the earth pair is like a dark green with that same like glossy print but it still hasn't worn off which is nice Yeah, so what do you guys think about uh, like how studios endeavor to try and make this sort of release more democratized? 
Um, do you guys think it was successful? Are you guys willing to wait six to eight months if it means that you have a pair secured? Uh, like, let me know of your thoughts in the comments. Um, personally, I would do this again. Um, I remember um, I was talking to a few people that worked there for the upcoming release, the Mark III or MK3, which is like an all white with like some red accents. I thought that looks really nice. They showed it off in Paris Fashion Week. Um, I was talking to them and then they said that they might have something similar for that release as well. Uh, like nothing confirmed, but you know, there's a Mark III on the way. Um, but yeah, personally, I really, really liked this four screen when it was initially shown off because right after the Tales of the Forest release, uh, they had a sample of this and I thought this was like super, super sick. Uh, like getting it in hand, I would say it's pretty hard. Like initially I thought this was gonna be like the clear winner, um, but I really do like the versatility of the of the Earth pair, really. I, I've worn this with pretty much like everything. It's, it's a very classic, very simple shoe. Um, I really, 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 really like the versatility of this. Not necessarily saying that the versatility in this is not that great. I think it's good. I think it's great as well. Um, but personally, colorway wise, I like the earth more, but in terms of quality of life stuff, I do like the forest a lot. The, the lace tips being dipped. Um, I really do like that. I also do like the leather patches that they used, the leather uh, panels, I mean, that they used. I really, really, really like that. Not saying that they didn't use leather on this, but I do wish that there was maybe a little bit more leather used on this instead of um, it being mostly suede here. Um, but again, that's sort of like nitpicking. Like both of these shoes are very, very comfortable. Um, I don't have any complaints to say so far about this. I've had no slipping or like discomfort. I would go true to size in your 1130s. Uh, they do not run narrow, but they also don't run super wide. So that's why I'd recommend true to size. Um, like if anything, I'm sure that the, I'm sure that like you could, like I don't think that these will stretch that much. So, um, Again, if you want to size down, that's up to you. Um, I also just wouldn't recommend sizing up just because that leaves too much like heel slippage, etc., um, And it won't be super comfortable if you guys size up too much. Um, but yeah, House Studios, Mark II, Forest 1130. Uh, I'll do some on feet and yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.